Right, so welcome to a quick and easy video on how to bind jump throw and also running jump throw. So that way you can improve on your nade usage. So what you want to do is first come over to the file location of the game. Then in here you want to go to game, CSGO, CFG, and then you want to make a auto exec. Or if you already have one, you can just add on to it. But I'll quickly show you how to make one. So what you want to do is just copy any one of these and just play a paste it again and then just name it whatever you want I just call it auto exec because it's easy and then uh, you have the config file you'll have to delete every bit of content that is in there if there is any and then you need to go over to the description of this video and you want to actually copy these commands here so the first one will be for the normal jump throw which for me is bound on alt. If you want to change this, you'll have to change it in the auto exec. And then over here is the running jump throw, which I have bound to N. If you also want to change that, you know what to do. <laughs> so once we have done this and added it to our auto exec, what we can do is make sure that we have it on our CS2 installation um, and added it to our launch options. So in here, what we want to do is type exec auto exec dot cfg. Make sure this is behind it because otherwise it won't work. And then we can launch up CS2. All right, so now that we are in the game, I'll just show you a quick example. So for instance, if we just want to throw a random smoke and we want to jump throw it. So for me, that would be clicking the alt key while having the smoke cooked, I guess you could call it. And you just simply press alt and it will jump throw it for you. Now this obviously won't land anywhere, but you will see that it will sort of smoke window. But that is the normal jump throw. All right, so now for an actual window smoke, I guess, and an example to the running jump throw. We can come into this corner and we can just cook the grenade. And when we hit N, it will go a step forward and jump throw the smoke. So if we do that, we can see we went a step forward because I can now move a step back and it jumped through the smoke. And as an added bonus for you in this video, here's a quick and easy window smoke, which is very easy to throw. So yeah, that was it for this video. If you have any issues with this, I will gladly help you. Just leave a comment. And if you enjoyed or got something out of this, please like and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye bye.